In this video, I'm going to show you how to add page transitions and animations in Next.js 14 and specifically in the app router. We're going to build a simple little app with three pages. And as you can see, our pages animate in or have a transition when they're coming in to the viewport or when we are changing the routes. So let's jump into the code where I can show you how to implement this. I've created a brand new Next.js application that's set up to work with TypeScript and Tailwind CSS. I do have a video on the channel where I walk through my Next.js setup and I've also created a Next.js starter template on GitHub that you can use to clone and start your projects. Now, all I had done so far is to add this homepage, which you can see here, and then an about page and a contact page, which just contains simple components that have this title and text inside of them. Now, inside of our root layout, this is where I'm also rendering a header component. Inside of this header component, I'm just rendering some simple links that allows me to just navigate between different pages. And I also have a an empty footer component just to show you how I would go about uh, creating a layout around my pages. Now, prior to the app router and Next.js 13 and now Next.js 14, if you wanted to add page transitions to your Next.js app, you would go inside your pages router and specifically to your underscore app, that's where you would define your custom app component, which was basically a wrapper around your pages. And you would just wrap that with any motion tag that you wanted to perform any type of page transition upon user navigation. Now, we don't have the underscore app inside the app router or Next.js 14, but we do have this layout where it's kind of the combination of our underscore app and underscore document.js. If you're coming from that world and you might think, well, I can just go ahead and create a transition component and wrap this children, which is going to be my nested layouts and pages inside of this root layout to then apply that page transition or animation that I want. So let's actually go ahead and do that. Inside of this app, I'm going to create a new component called transition.tsx and inside of it, I'm going to copy some code. So let's see what I'm doing here. Inside of this transition component, I'm receiving a children and I'm just wrapping this children with a motion.div. This is a specific syntax from Framer Motion, which enhances your regular elements like this div here to now accept or understand this props that I'm passing in. So I'm passing in an initial prop, specifying some Y property, that's your translate Y and opacity, and then an animation or animating from that initial to an end position, which is a Y of zero, translating back to where it belongs and then opacity of one. And I can set some transition properties such as duration and an easing function. Now, if I go back to the layout and wrap this with this transition component that I just created, now, a little side note about this transition component, because we needed to use Framer Motion, I had to use a client component. That's why I added this use client directive up top. Now, you might think, is this okay that we are passing in server components to this client component? Or does this mean our entire app is going to now be turned into client components because we are passing in every child and nested layouts now inside of this children to this transition component? Well, the answer is that yes, you can pass in server components as children or props to client components without turning them into client components. And this pattern is not going to turn your entire app into a client component. You can interleave and interweave client and server components. I do have a video on the channel where I talk about client versus server components and then to use which on the channel. I'm going to link it in the description so you can understand this new architecture a bit better. But that's just a common question that I often get. I thought I'll address it here. Now, when I initially saved this, I don't know if you noticed or not, but the animation actually happened on the homepage. Let me refresh this app and see this one more time. So the animation happens on the homepage, but when I try to go to the about page and the contact page or go back to the homepage, the animation doesn't happen. This is because Next.js is using the cached version of this server component and does not re-render these components or our layout to then rerun this animation. 
Now, how will we go about then actually applying this animation that we have here every time that we are transitioning or navigating between different pages? Now, what you can use here is another file inside of your Next.js or inside the app router, which is called template.js. Now, a template is similar to a layout in that it wraps the children pages and layouts, but unlike layouts that persist across routes and maintain state, templates create a new instance for each of their children on navigation. Now, if you're not familiar with what templates are or when and how you could use them, I do have a video on the channel where I dive deeper into templates and actually compare them with layouts uh, through examples, specifically through uh, using state and use effect and animation. I'm going to link that also in the cart so you can watch that video to be comfortable with what templates are. But that's the perfect place for us to actually use a template for this use case in our application because it's going to re-render our components every time instead of using the cached version of that specific page or server component, it's going to re-render the children every time. So therefore, we can run uh, the page transition and animation every time that the user actually clicks a different link. Now, before we jump back to the code and actually create this template, I wanna show you how uh, the hierarchy of this different file conventions inside the app router works. Now the, temp the template uh, and everything that you put inside of it uh, will wrap your page component and then uh, the template itself will be wrapped with the layout. Now, as I mentioned, a template is very similar to a layout in that it wraps the children. And the only difference is that it has a key prop that causes React to re-render this component every time on navigation. Now, this is not Next.js specific. This is a React feature. You can add a key prop to any component that you want React to re-render. So let's go back to our uh, app directory here. All I need to do really is to create a template.tsx file and copy the same code that we had inside of this transition into this template. So I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to go to the main layout. I no longer need this transition component, so I can turn them back into the main tag. I'm going to come here and actually X this out. So let me close this off. So inside of our main or root layout, I've turned this back into a regular main tag. I'm going to save this. And this transition component is useless now. So we could go ahead and actually delete this. And now I have added this template.tsx file. It can coexist with your layout. So let's just also call this template. It's receiving this children. This is going to be your pages and nested layouts. And then it's going to wrap them with this motion.diff, exactly what we were doing in that transition component. Now with this, if I go back to my page and refresh to get rid of the cache, if I go to the about page, I can now see the transition happening on every navigation because Next.js is now re-rendering this component every time because that's what templates are made for. Now that's a wrap for this video, folks. We added page transitions to our Next.js 14, specifically in the app router using Frame Motion and template.js or TS file, which is a file you can use inside of your folders or routes anywhere in the app router, which acts like a layout in that it wraps the children and nested layouts but the difference is that it does not persist across navigation. It does not persist states. It does not maintain states. It just re-renders every time. Again, there is a video on the channel where I dive deeper into templates versus layouts. So uh, do check that video if you want to understand it a bit more or actually also see other use cases. If you have any questions, like always, hit me up in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.